All right, we're finally out of Mugai. It is 11 a.m. already, very late. Took me around half an hour in Mugai to get ready to buy some uh, gas for my stove. And of course I had a coffee and then many, many, many photos there. Many people always take the same photos at the start of the high West Highland Way. So now on my way. Beautiful start through a park. Today's destination is Dryman or near Dryman. Around 20 kilometers depends where I find my campsite. All right, let's do this. So actually, let's do this. It's a bit of a boring motto. We need something more funny, more individual, and I came up with a quote from a movie. So my motto for this hike is going to be, I am speed. <laughs> Which I'm obviously not with this gigantic backpack, but it's just for motivation. I am speed. <laughs> I think I'm around one and a half hours in. Should be seven kilometers maybe. It's going well. Taking it easy. Trying to with the big backpack. I think I finally found the red rhythm. How to walk with such a weight. Started a bit too fast. Now slow down a little bit, checking pulse. You don't want it to be too high because if it gets too high, you start sweating. And yeah, well, this weather is a bit mixed. Of course, it's not raining, that's great. It's cloudy, but beautiful, beautiful yellow plants here. So it is two hours in. I think it should be around seven or eight kilometers now. I don't know exactly because my watch only shows me the time, not the distance. I have to find out tonight how to set it up properly. It shows me the calories though, so it's a big motivation for me. So far I burned 700 calories. Yay! Maybe a cake later. Yeah, so finally found my right pace, I think. It's downhill, so it's easy to find the pace down here. But in the beginning, starting from, from middle guy, I think I started too fast, and started sweating. Pulse was always like 120, 130, it's way too high. 
for hiking, I think. So now it's nicer because it's, I think it's a bit too cold just to just wear a t-shirt. That's why I wear this wind jacket. But I don't want to sweat under it and it gets annoying. So slow and steady, watching the path while I'm filming, don't want to fall. Yeah. Ooh. Nice hills here. No sunshine, but I think it's good on the first day. I imagine how it would feel like if there was sunshine and blue sky and I would walk here the first day sweating and dying and so it is good. Temperature, I don't know, maybe between 15 and 20. Very nice. Little breeze here. And I think it's another five to six kilometers to the first proper cafe slash restaurant where I will definitely stop and see if they have some nice cakes or muffins. Mm. My feet definitely want to have a break. <laughs> I can feel the bottom of my feet. Normally I don't get blisters. Also, I use these shoes for years. No problem, never have a blister in them. But now I start to feel it, so it worries me a little bit. Right, that was nice. Late lunch at the Beach Tree, Beach Tree Cafe, Beach Tree Inn, something like that. I had lentil soup and a chicken sandwich. A little bit of salad with it. Very nice. Can recommend. Friendly people. It's super funny, this corner I've seen so many times on Google Street View. <laughs> Hard to miss, but you can easily find it on Google Street View and then you know, okay, there's a junction here to West Highland Bay. So the path goes there, and if you follow the road, you go, go to Dryman. But yeah, going there.
So down there by the stream are already two tents. I know, yeah, it's an area it's possible for camping, but I move a bit more on. It's early, it's 4 p.m. It would be nice though. Uh, if I cannot find anything, I go back here. But let's go a bit further to the, the tree line over there. Nice. That's way. So I bought three bottles of water, one is in here, two I have here in my hand, so it means don't I have one liter, two liters, one liter I just want it for drinking water and one liter I need for dinner and breakfast today. For dinner, I think I need to warm up 150 milliliters of water, and then tomorrow morning I need water for porridge and for coffee, which is like 350 400 milliliters. So, I think one bottle is just for cooking. Right, let's try to find a camp spot. Okay, looks good to me. Little clearing in the forest. And I can clearly see that there have already people been here. Yeah, it's a fireplace outside. And you can see where the ground is flat and where tents might have been. So it's not completely flat, but yeah, I tried to find a good angle to have a good sleep. Let's do it. Fun fact, the cooking thingy that goes onto the gas thingy doesn't fit. <laughs> just wanted to cook my dinner and it just doesn't fit. Now I'm on the way to Dryman, to the supermarket, should still be open. It's a 20 minutes walk from my campsite. And let's see, I either have to buy a new of these screw on thingies or I have to find a gas container that suits my screw on thingy. I will put the correct name down there. <laughs> oh boy, adventure. On my way back and ta -da! Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> yeah they had it and see Woo, it works okay <laughs> okay dinner here I come Alright, end of day one, <clears throat> finished the dinner, or actually did not finish it 
completely. I wasn't so hungry anymore after the the lunch, the lentil soup and the, the nice sandwich. So yeah, it was not my type of dinner. Uh, okay, so how was the day? Uh, I liked it. It was good introduction to the West Island Way. It was good for me to, to get used to carry that heavy backpack. I don't think it's 20 kilograms. At home it was 17, but now plus water, maybe 18 kilograms. And the gas. So between 18 and 19, let's say that way. So it wasn't, I'm, I knew that I could do it because I had carried it before. And I just have to listen to the body and do many breaks and then change the setup of the backpack. Sometimes you carry it with your shoulders, sometimes you carry it with your hips and then so you can always relax the other part a little bit. And let's see tomorrow then after sleeping how the body feels, how the legs are, how the back feels. So far I'm optimistic. Uh, weather was very nice today. Uh, forecast for this night is a little bit of rain but you know I think for Scotland uh, and for the West Highland Way these forecasts are not really that good and we always of course one day there will be rain so maybe this night and then no rain anymore for the last eight days <laughs> okay then see you tomorrow um, I will prepare the tent prepare my sleeping bag and mattress and then yeah, get some rest because tomorrow I am speed too. <laughs>